the kinds of people that watch my content, a lot of you, not all of you, a lot of you have this one thing in common and it's, it actually puts you in a kind of minority group because the majority of people are doing the opposite. It's really important to be aware while you're out there interacting with absolutely everybody in the world, especially now that we have access to the internet where your arguments are not limited to your local community. You can get in a debate with somebody on the other side of the world who has grown up in totally different circumstances to you with totally different values and a whole new belief system that you've never even begun to explore. You know, these kinds of interactions are happening more and more. Like, in fact, a lot of people are probably having more interactions with total strangers about things that don't matter than they are having interactions with their own family and friends. If you just look around, I'm just making an assumption here, but I will support my assumption with a little bit of evidence. If you look around at the majority of people, are they interacting with each other more or are they looking at their screens? So who's in the screen? Like what, what interaction is taking place in the screen? And a lot of people do what's like called passive sort of consumption of content where they're not actually interacting with the strangers, but they are sort of being entertained in a way by the interactions that strangers are having with each other. And they're kind of like feeding off that action and reaction, thinking like that's really interesting that they're having an argument about that. And you, you don't even have to engage in the argument or the debate yourself to feel the same emotions and feel like you're a part of it. So there's like that passive consumption as well. But the point is like, we're living in a time where everybody's interacting with, you know, people that don't help you grow as a person. In fact, that's just like feeding everything negative in you. Like you're just reacting all the time. And if you're reacting like in the digital world where you're consuming content, then you're probably going to be reacting more frequently in your day-to-day -day interactions with your actual local community or your family or your friends, whatever. And there's something like that I want to highlight about online interaction. And it's not really about the online interaction. It's about the people that you will meet online. Because I think the kinds of people that watch my content, a lot of you, not all of you, a lot of you have this one thing in common and it's, it actually puts you in a kind of minority group because the majority of people are doing the opposite. So when you meet people who have really strong opinions and they know who they are, they know what they're doing and nothing that you say can change the way that they think and feel, you might feel first off that I wish I could be like them. I wish I could have that kind of confidence and that self-assured feeling that whatever I am doing is right. But you will also have a kind of judgment, like they're closed minded and they're missing out on learning and personal growth because they're stuck in their mindset. It doesn't really matter either way. It's just important to be aware that these two kinds of people exist. And the thing that I think makes, it creates a huge distortion effect when we're interacting with people online because they're strangers. We know nothing about their background. Maybe we can see a display picture and we can look on their profile and see how many friends they have. Like we have very limited information about them. And even if you do are able to access their profile and see some stuff about them, it's probably not an accurate representation of who they are as a person, their values, their beliefs, anything. So you're having these interactions so frequently with people that it's all an illusion. But the the thing that's different about a lot of us and a lot of them, not to like create this huge polarity or anything, but it is, it does exist and I want to acknowledge it. Um, a lot of people in my circles are sober, like absolutely no medication or drugs or anything. So it's a very different experience of the world when you're actually dealing with reality as it is 24 seven compared to some of the people that you might be arguing with who are heavily medicated or on like, you know, roughly two thirds of the world are on some kind of prescription medication. And if we included illegal substances in that, which let's face it, it's hard to quantify that data because people aren't exactly rushing to fill out a census form about all the different happy drugs that they take. Um, like a huge, huge majority of the world is off their tree. Like they're, 
they're like numbing themselves or they're they're taking some kind of like mind altering substances or you know they're they're on pain medication all of these things have a, a psychological physiological effect change the way that you think and feel and i've taken um a variety of prescription medications and illegal drugs in the past and i can tell you when you're off your tree it's you're much more entrenched in your beliefs and stuff and like so I, I i'm just it's another assumption but based on the evidence that i just gave you as well it's probably a pretty accurate assumption that a lot of the interactions and arguments and stuff that takes place online is like all based around people being off their tree and just like bored like boredom is probably one of the biggest drivers of like so many of those interactions it's a huge thing to be like committed to sobriety being lucid and present and aware 24 7 and moving through life like that and you need to probably keep in mind that not everybody's doing that that's like it's it's liberating because then you're like, oh, okay. Like I definitely am more mindful when I'm reading like messages or comments on my own stuff now. Like my first thought is like, is this person actually present and aware? Are they actually trying to interact with me with a positive intention? Like, are they trying to share some information with me? Are they trying to help me understand something that maybe I've missed? Are they asking for some kind of guidance or support? Like, what is their actual intention? Or is their intention just, I'm bored, I think this is stupid, I want to create an argument, like, or, like, I don't even have an intention, this is just where I ended up today. Like, that's the worst possible thing that you could end up in a massive back and forth with. So, just consider all these things while you're out there interacting with humanity. <laughs> like, um, don't get bogged down in a whole bunch of stuff that really doesn't matter. If you swim in polluted waters, you get polluted. Like I watched the Bob Marley movie recently and she says that to him. Um, that's sort of what you're doing if, you, if you're not conscious and you're not aware of the interactions that you're having and especially in this digital age where you have access to everything. And that algorithm, all those algorithms in all of your little apps, it is watching for the stuff that makes you react the most. Like that's what it, it that's, its purpose like if something makes you react it's going to find more of that and serve it up to you 10 times a hundred times a thousand times more because it wants to keep you in that app it wants to keep you consuming that content so if you want to consume conscious content you have to be very deliberate about it and i'm talking like these algorithms it's not just about what you click a like button on or leave a comment on it's how long you stop on a particular photo or a video or even text it's it's scanning all of that so even if you're like yeah i'm not reacting but you're constantly oh yeah i'll stop and read this article about like something really negative that triggers me and makes my life worse and like takes me out of my positive mindset and into this like negative place that's going to ruin my whole day you've done that once and the algorithm's kicked off straight away and it knows like give him 10 more of those and if you've already been like vulnerable enough to stop and allow one thing in, this is advice for myself right now. I'm very aware of this in the present moment that's happening to me, like, cause I'm letting stuff in. Like, so I'm, I'm stopping and I'm reading one and then like, it's, it's like, okay, he's vulnerable to this today. So we're just gonna feed him that and keep him in here, just stewing and fuming about all the injustices in the world. Cause my whole thing is like mental health, disability, NDIS. And so I joined a couple of groups. That was my first mistake. <laughs> and then Facebook's gone, ooh, like he wants to see all of the stories about the people that are going through nightmares in the mental health system. And then I just ended up with a whole bunch of that. It has been educational. Like I'm going to play the other side against myself for a moment because like you can't just ignore all the problems in the world either. Very aware of that. But my whole thing is just solutions focused like internal to external what can i create today that makes tomorrow a little bit better and i am positive that reading a whole bunch of terrible stories about 
things that have happened to people in the system isn't making me better at my job, better at making content, better as a member of my family because I'm all, I'm like in this like, and everybody else is like happy. Like, why would you do that to the people around you? Why would you be the thing? Like, why would you like let the polluted waters come into you and then you're polluted and then people are like getting polluted by your stuff that you've let into your reality, you know, like this might sound a little bit like far out to some people but this is the kind of things that I consider a lot I think this is like one of the most important things to consider like what are you actually consuming like what are you what is coloring your perception today what are you going to choose to color your perception with once you get to that place like I'm choosing to focus on this because I want to create this feeling inside myself and I want to carry that with me and spread that to everybody that I interact with throughout my day that is so much more empowering and beautiful than not being aware and conscious which i know this kind of like went in two directions like if you are taking all different substances whether it's like medication or um illegal drugs whatever like it's so much easier and you're so much more vulnerable to take stuff on and just like end up sitting on the couch for 10 hours straight reading about stuff that makes you feel terrible than if you are sober. But at the same time, even when you're sober, the whole world seems to be programmed to just feed off all of our negative emotions. And it's probably because, like I said, over two thirds of people are heavily medicated or on illegal drugs and they're just allowing that to take place. So every single person who is actually sober, present and aware, I mean, you have a drink every now and then, or like, you know, indulge every now and then or something like that. I'm not like, I'm not espousing some crazy cult philosophy here that you must be sober, like straight edge. Like if anybody remembers what straight edge was, like it was this whole thing in like the heavy metal hardcore scene where you no drugs, no alcohol, no promiscuous sex, like nothing, like you just got to be perfect. And that was a whole thing. Like, I'm not saying anything like that, like do what you want to do. But like, if you are like, it, like particularly like, smoking weed all day every day like that's going to make you so vulnerable to like everything that's taking place in the world and it's funny because you'll convince yourself that it's making you more aware or it's making you more conscious or whatever but if you actually get sober and then go hang around with people who are taking the substances that you thought were great and just observe them from outside of that world your opinions really start to change this is a really weird video. I didn't know what was going to come out when I started talking at all. I just had an hour of time where my partner took the baby to a little baby sensory class. And I was like, I feel something and it's weird and I got to let it out. So there it is for you. If you got anything out of it at all, I feel like there's so much space here for a really interesting discussion in the comments below start that conversation guys you'll be surprised who shows up to validate or challenge even your thoughts and feelings in the present moment and i'll jump in there too i love to interact with like the different ideas that pop up in that little box so click the like button for me it helps teach that algorithm positive things i, I hope this is a positive video it's like mostly positive um just teaching us how to curate our own content consumption <laughs> and yeah subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and don't forget to pass any of these videos on if there's a video that jumps out at you and it's just like wow no one's ever said anything like that before or like that really just hits the nail on the head my friend needs to hear this send it to them in a message hell call them up and be like come over and watch this with me right now because it's the best thing i've ever seen <laughs> No, it's not really the kind of content that I make. I just make real content and whoever vibes with it, vibes with it.